finals of the 2003 Hastings Direct International Championships. The number two seed, Chanda Rubin of the United States. And Ruben defend. You can see both players playing well through to the finals. Martinez taking out Farina Ilya, the Italian, in the semifinals. Chanda Rubin taking out Jennifer Capriotti. So both players playing some fine tennis, although getting it done in different ways. Head to head, Chanda Rubin with the one win on grass. And that's a really telling statistic there. Conchita Martinez leading the head to head. Nine matches to one for Chanda Rubin on other. Well, here's a look at Conchita Martinez, the veteran, 31 years old, out of Monzon, Spain, although she splits her time now between San Diego and Barcelona. English tennis fans. Here's Chanda Rubin out of Lafayette, Louisiana, 27 years old, and you can see really enjoying a fine time in her career, ranked number seven. This is her ability to mix things up, throw in that slice, move the ball around with that slice backhand. First serve percentage is going to be key for her because she knows Chanda Rubin's going to be looking to attack. And she needs to keep the ball deep, keep Chanda Rubin pinned to that baseline. And Chanda Rubin's keys are all about aggression. She needs to dictate and attack and get in. That's how she turned that match around against Jennifer Capriati yesterday was down two match points, a set 5-3, 15-40, really changed her strategy. Final from Eastbourne. Oh, good start for Ruben. Chanda preferring to hit the ball waist high or higher as opposed to that low slice that Conchita Martinez hits. At that point, it was Martinez dictating. the course of a match. Great get from Martinez. Really anticipated well. She's not the best mover. on the line. And that's just too good from Conchita Martinez. That's the right play. Wide. You can see Martinez unable to get some control on the forehand. Chanda Rubin doesn't do a lot. Well played. And that's the way a volleyer needs since nineteen seventy four.
Yes. She cleaned up that forehand nicely. It's court. Big time two-hander from Ruben. Well, she really is so difficult to attack. Denied Navratilova her 10th Wimbledon title. Last time that Martina Navratilova would be in the finals of her favorite event. Playing her way out of Wimbledon in 1994, really being two seasoned grass court players. Obviously, Martina Navratilova, but Lori McNeil as well, a great grass court player. She had taken out Steffi Graf in the first round. Another break point for Martinez. Ruben has that shot for, for certain. She's hit three or four cross court. Break point chance number four for Martinez. Hacking, and you can start the point on the offense. time Martinez got the first good hit in off the <laughs> down love 40. The first knockdown of the final and the change of direction really crossing up Ruben. I think they sold it. <laughs> I should have bought it. Right. <laughs> I should have prevented that. Your own personal invitational. has a break of serve. And when we come back, the American will serve for the first here in Eastbourne. Well, in fact, only two players have won consecutive years here. Hey, Tracy Austin.
that's a lovely passing shot. who really want to employ different strategies. That's a brilliant play. And that shot, again, so effective because she hit a few. Oh my gosh, it has that surprise factor to it. That's great play from both players. Obviously, Conchita Martinez succeeded in doing that at such a young age. play again from Martinez. Oh yes, what a conversion by Ruben. set that surrendered the advantage well that's a better play there
terms of space to hit that forehand into. Martinez pressing for the advantage. At a break point in each of Ruben's two service games this set. That's a beautiful return from Conchita Martinez. She's really an inexcusable Zero. error. An overhead right on top of the net. I suppose it's reassuring for all club players who are watching this to see a great champion like Martinez miss an easy shot like that. can hit both corners equally well off that forehand side. Time she got the overhead right. Boy, wasn't that a nice underspun approach? Too good. Creative play from Martinez, and she has a lead in the second set. Five. Beautiful day for tennis in Eastbourne. Championship match. play from Ruben. She was scrambling for her life. I don't know exactly why Conchita Martinez is throwing a racket. Coming off a good second set. That was just a good play from Chanda Ruben. scored so many times today with the lob. Well, a world-class exchange there. 
pace and the ability to change direction quickly. And you really need that when you come up to the net. So Rubin scores in the opening game on her own serve. the knockdown here and this time it's the Spaniard who falls hard on the grass and that is an awkward slip let's hope that she's okay there she'll take just a moment to collect herself that just goes to show what a class act Chanda Rubin is came up to the net make sure Conchita Martinez is okay well she started out this match with a strapping around her left wrist and she's taken that off but there is some tape residue still there and you can see she goes to change directions and her feet oh boy that left foot sliding out underneath her and all that weight falling on her left wrist this was yesterday where i think she first injured her left wrist falling in the semi-final It was a nice idea from Martinez trying to destroy. That's excellent length on both the second serve. incredible Martinez tosses her racket to the chair but that's more like it from Martinez Playing much more aggressively. And the former Wimbledon champion cannot afford to pass up the opportunity to get back into this match. Nice change up from Rubin. Very adept when coming. nicely done the difficult shot was not the last forehand that certainly seems to be the case pinpoint accuracy on the slice backhand Superb from both players. Martinez doing exceptionally well to stay in the rally. 2-5.
Excellent tennis from both players. Martinez couldn't really do any more. Which ultimately cost her the point. Oh, that's too good. Really playing at the very top of her game now, Ruben. And from the accuracy was excellent from Martinez. Desperately needs a first serve here. Still championship point. Can you believe it? Firstly, the slice backhand from Martinez dropped to a but just snatched at it somewhat. And finally, a little bit of luck going the way of the Spaniard. Serve out for the match. A cry of anguish from Martinez. Oh, fantastic tennis from Martinez. The return of serve on this occasion was deep enough. Unable to control it. A woefully short second serve from Rubin and an exquisite topspin backhand from Martinez. Incredible improvisation from Ruben in the middle of that rally. And what guts from Martinez. There it is. Chandra Rubin becomes the first player since Martina Navratilova in 1991 to successfully defend her title here at Eastbourne, beating Conchita Martinez 6-4, 3-6, 6-4 in 2 hours and 17 minutes. Well, she got a little edgy towards the end, but played some excellent tennis and has done throughout the week and thoroughly deserves her victory. And I'm sure she'll move on to Wimbledon next week in very confident mood indeed. For Martinez, disappointment that she wasn't able to win her first title since Berlin in 2000. But she's shown a real return to form this week and hopefully the injury she sustained won't hinder her attempt to win a second title at the All England Club when play gets underway there next Monday. Well, it's the first time that Rubin successfully defended a title and it's her second title of the year after winning in Madrid on the clay earlier in May. And what a superb trophy that is. And a smile to match. She also receives a check for 93,000 US dollars.